Hello, I'm Cameron Sanderson, and welcome to LUTV Sports Break, where we will discuss interesting sports topics with our panel of sports reporters. In sports, people say Father Time is undefeated. The bearded one is throwing hands on this era's sports icons. Tom Brady is in unfamiliar waters with the Yuccaneers in Tampa Bay. Aaron Rodgers is trying to ensure the state of Wisconsin does not buy the farm in Green Bay. The King's reign has hit a drought with LeBron James and the Lake Show trickling into a slow start this hoop season. Panel, what goat should be the first to go to the pastor name? Countdown to the Hall of Fame introduction. Giselle's former partner, A.A. Ron, or Akron Zone? I have to go with Tom Crybaby Brady, man. Like, I'm so tired of seeing rules change for him. We have to practically lay a blanket and a pillow down just to sack him. And not to mention, I think he should have really, should have really retired two years ago. Like, you go and you leave New England, you prove that it's not just Belichick and you had something to do with all those Super Bowl appearances and you win it in your first go around with the Yuccaneers. So I think that's, you know, he, he definitely should have left then and then to go back, come another season and then decide to retire after not playing as well and come back. Like, that's just doing way too much. He definitely should be going already. He's two years past. Yeah, no, I, I agree with everything Trey said. Um, what left, like, he doesn't have anything left to prove. He has pretty much done it all. Um, he's won multiple Super Bowls with multiple teams. He's proven that he doesn't need Bill Belichick, which I thought was the main reason that he went off and to win another Super Bowl. So there's really no reason to stay. Um, and also, if you just look at it statistically, he has his numbers are down across the board. He's down to like, I think it's 4.1 yards per completion attempt, which is the lowest it's been in his career, including the year he first came in for Bledsoe. So that's why you got him like completing... 40 passes for 260 yards. That's not a top-tier NFL quarterback. It's barely a passable quarterback at this point. Um, they've, they've got a losing record, and they just lost to an XFL MVP. So I don't have much hope in Brady. I'm with Trey. I think he should have retired a couple years ago. Personally, I just I, I can tell why it's not going to be Brady or LeBron. Brady is too crazy to just give up the game. I don't know what's wrong with him. Apparently, at his age, he just still wants to get hit by 300-pound men. LeBron has openly already said that he wants to play with his kids, whether that's Bryce or Bronny. He's openly wanting to. And also, he is, he's such in good condition anyway, he could probably go on for as long as we want until who knows when. So I did say Aaron Rodgers. He is 3-5 and five right now. He's behind the Vikings. He is 12th in passing, rating, pass, passing yards, and he's on 27th in QBR. And you could just tell he is tired of just carrying this Packers franchise for as long as he has. Like, yeah, there's been success here and there, right? But for the last couple of years, he's just been so tired of just being the man here and also just carrying this franchise for as long as he has. So, like, maybe in a couple of years, I could just see him retiring even before Brady, let alone LeBron. Yeah, see, I think Tom Brady has nothing else to prove. I think you guys are right. There's nothing else to prove. However, there's however, a butt coming here. I, I, <laughs> <There's> I, <butt. laughs> I like him in the league. You know who I don't like in the league? Aaron Rodgers. I got to get that man a bucket and some soap because he is washed. <laughs> yeah. He is three and five right now. They're, I believe, one of four. And no, 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 excuse me. They're 0 and four in their past four. Mm -hmm. He has not played good. He's, been, he's just been awful. All of his statistics are lower this season. Everything that he has done. He's ranking as a bottom-tier quarterback. He has a 38.2 QBR right now. That is 27th in the league. It's playing bad. And you're talking about a man that just came off back-to-back -back MVPs? You want to talk about something that there's no, nothing else to prove? He's got nothing else to prove. He knew this franchise is declining. He knows this franchise has no love for him. They're not going to give him receivers. Why come back? He acted shocked when Devontae Adams left. Devontae wanted to leave. He wanted to leave this whole time. Even if you did stay, he did it. Now look at him struggling. He's got nothing. He can't do anything with nothing. He needs to go. You made great points, and he has won back-to-back -back MVPs, but I believe he still has something to prove. I feel like he has to have his perfect story ending, just like the way Brady had two years ago when he should have left. To you, I feel like you said Aaron Rodgers, or you don't see um, Tom Brady retiring before him, but it's not about whether he should. It's or, or that you know that you see it. It's, it's, he should. He should definitely leave. Like he's lost three consecutive games for the first time in his career this season, mm -hmm. and he's always been held up by a great defense. And you see uh, people like Devin White not performing to what you know he's expected to do. And I feel like if that defense doesn't perform, he's going to continue to get exposed. Well, I can I can see why you'd be like um, he should retire already. But 
Brady just has something that he just wants to prove. I don't know what that is. He just wants to prove it to everyone. So, like, they're obviously right now, there's no contention on who's the GOAT. It's Tom Brady. But for some reason, something is just driving him every year to just come back. Rodgers, I don't see that. Obviously, Devontae left. He has no receivers right now. He's The franchise is declining. I don't know what he wants to prove, but I feel like he just doesn't have that thing that wants that makes him keep on wanting to go. So, honestly, he's probably going to retire. Like I'd give him, like, four or five years now. Four, four or five. I think that's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> Honestly, both of them need to retire. It's, yeah. a, it's a new generation of quarterbacks in the league right now, and they're slowly getting left in the dust. Um, Rodgers came in with just ungodly arm talent, you know. He could do anything with the ball, and we hadn't seen that very often. He does have something to prove. He's got to surpass Brett Favre in the legacy of Green Bay and win that second Super Bowl. Do I think he's going to do that? No, so he should probably hang it up. Thanks. You know, so Brady, I've already said my piece on him. He's, he's done. He's not, at one point in the season, he had more broken tablets than touchdowns. <laughs> so he's cooked. Rodgers should get out. LeBron, I got hope for. LeBron, so, I do got some hope for. So can we say LeBron is definitely the GOAT amongst these GOATs? Because all of us picked Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady. Nobody said LeBron. I'd say at this very moment, LeBron is the best of the three. At this very moment. Yeah. I'm not talking about all time. I'm talking about at this very moment. He's leading his team in just about every important statistic. Mm -hmm. He's... 15th in the league in points per game. Right. I mean, uh, 11th mm -hmm. in the league in, like, rebounds. I mean, he's playing legitimate football. I mean, basketball, excuse me. He's yeah. playing good basketball. <laughs> he could play football, too, though. Yeah, so he could have been a great tight end. For real, because he almost signed with Dallas as a tight end. I know he did, I know. Also, yeah. LeBron has already said he wants to play with one of his sons anyway. And also, he always keeps his body in physical great shape. Like, LeBron is just going to be an all-star level talent for as long as he wants to. He's literally been an all-star level talent since most of us have probably been boring watching this right now. Yeah. I do, I do yeah. want to bring this up. Uh, you brought up how, like, Aaron Rodgers came in and he's placing these balls perfectly. Mm -hmm. You know, no turnovers or anything. Brady's got one interception on the season. That's one true, interception. Girl. It came in week one against my Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> yep. Who else? He's second in the league in passing yards. He's actually statistically not that bad. He's been doing decent. It's just the team around him isn't great. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at – I mean, it just – he's struggling. The new head coach that came in there, he's not doing a great job. I, I can't. You can't put all the blame on well, you know on Brady for what's going on with the Buccaneers. Uh, I can put a lot of it. He's. Um, I mean, we see him not just his on the field performances, but he's he's coming off the field. He's screaming at people. He's like we saw him literally yell, "I did not leave. I did not lose my wife and kids for this." You're the leader of that team. Your team is not going to get behind that. Like they cannot follow a man that's going to be in their face taking his personal stuff. And bring it on the field with him. Like, I can't see following that kind of guy into battle. He, it doesn't make you want to perform. So, that's kind of my thing with Brady besides the stats. Plus, he's averaging like 1.5 touchdowns a game. So, I definitely, I definitely agree with you, Brett. And I feel like Tom Brady has, like you say, he has nothing, up to, no, nothing else to prove. Um, his legacy is only decreasing as he continues to go. And um, actually, if I want to bring up a point, I feel like AB continues to be proven right. We feel like AB's a problem, but is the GOAT really, like, he really should be gone. You know what's crazy about that? Antonio Brown has been right about everything. He's been right about the Steelers, the Raiders, Brady. Like, we think he's crazy, but we, he actually might be right about everything. We, <laughs> we just don't want to accept it right now. But, like, maybe, like, in three to four years, we're going to be like, wow, AB's just a genius, guys. We don't know what to do about maybe it. Maybe it's the CTE. Maybe. It's AB's world, we're just I living say, in it. Who knew CTE I say a genius? That's where we wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, panel, and thank you for tuning in to LUTV Sports Break, where we'll keep you in the game for every game. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for more Lamar University sports. See you next time.